there guys and welcome back to Jason's Guitar School. Uh, today we are going to be learning Move On by Mike Posner. So this is another easy one using four chords and one strumming pattern through the whole song. So first we will go into your chords. If you know the chords D, A, B minor and G, skip ahead to where we will be learning just the strumming pattern. Now the if you're not used to those chords, stick with us now and I'll just show you quickly how to go into them. D is second box, G an E string and third box B and you only strum the bottom four strings. Then we have A. So all in the second box it's second box D, G and B. And make sure you can hear that bottom string open. That's your A chord. Think all together in the same box. A. B minor. So this is a bar chord. You're going to cover all the box number two. Then in the next box it is the B string and in the fourth box or in the fourth box it's D and G. So that's bar chord, B, D and G. That's your B minor and then finally your G chord. So it's the second box, A string, third box, E string and then also in the third box it's B and E with those little two fingers. And that's your G. So that's D, A, B minor and G. So let's go into the strumming part of the song. Go into your D chord. Now the strum pattern is fairly simple. It's a four beat modern style strum pattern. Down pause, or down and a little hesitation, and it goes up, up, down. And then the last strums are all run together. Up, up, down, down, up. Then you're into your A chord. Down and hesitate. Up, up, down. Up, up, down, down, up. B minor, down. Up, up, down. Up, up, down, down, up. And finally your G chord. Down, up, up, down. Up, up, down, down, up. So when you're playing that at speed, it should sound like this. Yeah, easy enough to follow along, guys. D, A, B minor, and G. If you didn't watch the last lesson, just on your bar chord B minor, remember to squeeze from the bottom of the finger so you get nice clear sounds on the bottom strings and then this, the tension of the finger will push upward so you should be able to also hear the top strings as well. Um, but it's more important to hear the bottom ones first and let the pressure build up. And that is it for today guys, that's Mike Posner's Move On. Join in next week where we will be learning another song and I will see you then.